everyone, Jason Shadrick here with PremierGuitar.com and we're at the Summer NAMM show in Nashville here with David Coltai from Pigtronics. And David, you're going to show some new pedals that you're releasing at the show here and also some sneak peek of some brand new pedals that are still kind of in development a little bit. That's right, Jason. We've been uh, working hard in the lab in Port Jefferson, New York at Pigtronics uh, to create a whole bunch of new pedals. And uh, we are showing at the NAMM show here four new products, um, the first of which is the Gatekeeper. The Gatekeeper is our brand new super high speed noise gate. What distinguishes the Gatekeeper from other products is that it's super, super fast. And all it does is 100% attenuation. It's real simple to use. Uh, you have true bypass switch. Um, you've got a threshold knob that sets uh, where exactly the thing cuts off. And then you have a release time knob. My favorite setting on it is to have the release time all the way at zero. So basically it opens instantly and then closes instantly. Um, I've been uh, rocking a PRS Custom 24, which is notoriously quiet anyway, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, throw on some heavy overdrive into the gatekeeper. Um, and the idea with this pedal is that it cuts out all noise from your rig when you're not playing, and then the moment you play, it opens up. So it's a very musical gate, uh, and one that has a lot of applications, whether you're using pedals or whether you're using the high gain on your amp. So uh, here we go, Let's put some high gain from the fat drive, turn on the gate. Obviously, you can see it's closed there, and when I play, And if you uh, take a shot here, you see the, uh, the muting light will tell you when it opens. And it's just super, super fast and very musical. Um, so whether you have any, uh, you know, using a Telecaster and you got single coil noise out of your guitar, or you're just cranking up the gain through your rig, the Gatekeeper is just a perfect way to eliminate any uh, uh, extraneous noise and uh, that pedal will be 149 bucks, made in the USA by the uh, mad scientists here at Pigtronics. And when will they be available? Uh, that pedal should be available uh, I believe in two months so that'll be September. Excellent. Alright let's move on to the next one, the Quantum Time Modulator. Now the Quantum Time Modulator, I'm really proud of this pedal. Uh, this pedal came uh, around because of uh, Dweezil Zappa. Um, Dweezil had um, introduced me to a very rare old uh, rack unit called the Mike Mix Dynaflanger, uh, which did some envelope controlled chorusing effectively. Um, and uh, this apparently was what Frank Zappa used on Shut Up and Play Your Guitar. Um, so uh, we were inspired to make an envelope controlled chorus um, of sorts, um, but obviously I wanted to also include your standard chorus sounds. Um, but uh, I also didn't really just want to make something normal. Um, and one of my favorite classic chorus pedals is the Roland Dimension C, uh, Dimension D, and the TC Electronics 1210 Spatial Expander that Dave Gilmore used. And uh, all those units actually have two chorus lines, so to speak, that are modulated in parallel. Uh, so with the Quantum, what we've done is we've got two all analog bucket brigade delay lines in parallel in a, their own kind of unique configuration where uh, instead of modulating in opposite directions they sort of uh, do a little wave dance with each other uh, and we've got an LFO and an envelope control and a source knob to blend between the two so I'll show you a couple sounds here yep. first sound is just um, we're gonna use clean guitar and uh, we're just gonna have all the knobs at noon in the chorus setting So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on some overdrive and show you some rhythm guitar sounds um, in that same setting, everything at noon. So now we're going to go ahead and show you the vibrato setting. I'm going to turn up the speed all the way, turn the source all the way over to LFO, and go to vibrato. And I'll leave the distortion on here. Uh, this is what I call the horror film vibrato effect.
And this was uh, actually inspired by Juan Alderetti, who uh, has been using the Boss uh, VB2 vibrato pedal uh, and it encouraged me to go ahead and make a vibrato thing. He does these wonderful fretless bass lines uh, with lots of harmonics and clean sounds. Um, so we'll just throw on a little Philosopher's Stone compression and uh, just a couple of harmonics with a vibrato thing. Now, one of the most important sounds in the quantum would be that dynaflanger sound. That's that Frank Zappa sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the source knob all the way over towards the envelope side now. We'll go back to the chorus setting. So you see I've got my sensitivity and now my source pointing all the way over towards the envelope side. And this is gonna give us that absolutely amazing um, pitch modulated by how hard I play my guitar. I'm gonna throw on a little overdrive. And I promised Weasel I would learn all my melodic minor modes uh, when we invented this pedal, so I've been working on that. Um, so uh, here we go. And you can hear that pitch bend that happens. And then of course we can mix in a little LFO modulation with the envelope and that's when we really get to pure Pigtronics, which is multiple modulation waveforms, multiple chorus lines in parallel, um, and it, just like uh, in Atom, you never know exactly where the chorus and the quantum is going to be and it actually changes based on what you do. Um, so here's just one last little sound clip uh, with the quantum. Excellent. Also, Dave, we want to take a look at your two uh, upcoming pedals, the Ecolution 2 and the Deluxe Ecolution 2. Can you tell us a little bit about these and maybe demonstrate a few sounds you can get out of them? Well, absolutely, Jason. I like to call this the Ecolution Squared. Ecolution Squared. Um, of course, um, I'm not sure there's actually a character uh, when you type on a computer for the little squared symbol, so we can call it Ecolution 2 as well. Uh, the Ecolution 2 is full stereo, stereo in, stereo out fully programmable uh, and features a whole bunch of new algorithms um, that uh, we've been working on over the past few years. Um, it runs, runs off the same DSP platform as our Infinity Looper. Um, it's 24-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz, um, and uh, in terms of its relationship to the original Ecolution, uh, this pedal is not only smaller and totally programmable, uh, but it's also got less noise um, and a whole bunch of new stuff. Five different modulation waveforms, expression pedal control of every parameter, you can map, um, there's an envelope control for ducking, and the envelope can be mapped to any parameter as well. Uh, one of the filters that I'm really proud of here is a bit crush filter uh, that I call the implosion delay. Uh, we'll show you that. It's got multi-tap patterns um, where you have the, the, the one, uh, and then the, uh, the main delay can be a fraction of your tap tempo, three quarters, two thirds, one half, or the golden ratio fraction. And then you also have the option of running two delays uh, to create complex rhythm patterns um, to where you can run the one plus any of the fractions. Um, short, medium, long modes for the delay time. When you turn the knob, it takes over. When you tap tempo, that takes over from the knob. It's got a ping pong mode for stereo effects, and it's also got a really interesting halo shimmer mode where every repeat goes up one octave. Um, and then once you create a sound you like, you just simply uh, push down and hold the preset uh, encoder and you can save to any one of 50 preset slots. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you a sound that uh, we had just dialed up playing around with Doug Wimbish here. Um, this is uh, a two taps, uh, the one and the golden ratio fraction. Um, we're using a sawtooth modulation waveform and uh, I've got a resonant sweep filter going here. Um, and so uh, here we go. This is. Uh, the world premiere of the Ecolution Squared.
Now, as you'll notice, the Evolution Deluxe squared and the new Evolution 2 um, have a very similar footprint. And uh, in fact, the two pedals are really the same pedal. Um, obviously, the Evolution Deluxe has a lot of touch buttons and LEDs to indicate all of the special functions it does, um, which is a little overwhelming for some people. So we made the Evolution 2 basic version without all that extra stuff on the front panel. But the fact is that any preset that you create on the deluxe version can be run on the Evolution Squared basic version and can be uploaded via USB. And so uh, we've been uh, working with some uh, different artists like uh, Adrian Ballou and Doug Wimbish, Vernon Reed, Richard Fortas from Guns N' Roses uh, to create presets uh, and banks of presets for the Evolution 2 that you'll be able to download from our website and you'll be able to run those on either model. And when you plug the Evolution 2, either version, into the computer, um, what will come up on screen is actually the Evolution 2 Deluxe. And uh, you'll be able to manipulate presets in real time and audition them while it's connected to the computer. Um, so you can use either version to get all these sounds. Um, so let's go ahead and check out that bit crushing delay. So I'll turn it, go ahead and turn the uh, golden ratio fraction off. I'll cycle through to the bit crusher delay here. We'll go to a uh, triangle wave modulation, set this thing up, and uh, nice a little bit longer delay time. And let's see what this sounds like. Now I got a clean guitar sound, uh, and this is the implosion filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sweeping resonance. Uh, the sweep can be added to any of the filters. So now it's a bit crushed just by itself. And as you can see, it's got an envelope control, so the harder you hit, the more the waveform gets destroyed. So I know you guys over at Premier Guitar have a tendency towards destruction. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of beautiful, sweet sounds in this thing. And there's a few pretty crazy, dirty, insane implosion sounds as well. And when will uh, these pedals expect to be available? I would like to see them all on the market before Christmas. Um, we're working hard to get it all finished. Uh, we're really proud of the Evolution 2. I want to make sure it's 100% right and ready to rock. It will, of course, be firmware updatable uh, by users, just like the Infinity Looper. Um, and uh, it's handmade in the United States in Port Jefferson by the fine fellows that work with me at Pigtronics. Uh -huh. And where can people go online to find out more about uh, all your different pedals? What you want to do is go to www.pigtronics.com. That's P-I-G-T-R-O-N-I-X, pigtronics.com. And thanks a lot to Premier Guitar for joining us at the Summer NAMM Show in Nashville. This is a great town, and I encourage all you manufacturers who skip the show to come back next year. Excellent. Well, thank you, David, for showing us your new stuff. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com.